Okay, you're joining us on the Yes Carpet if you're on Twitter, hashtag Yes Carpet, and of course we are live with none other than the First Minister himself, Alex Salmon. Alex, welcome. No, great to be here on this very auspicious day. It is a very auspicious, very special day. Did you get much sleep last night with all this excitement? No, I tell you, I, I, I've actually caught a, a throat thing at the present moment, so last night was spent gardening <laughs> and desperately swallowing tablets, and yeah. hoping for the best. Luckily, the voice has held out. It certainly has. And what, what a spectacular launch we had today. Couldn't, was be better. Couldn't be better as a launch. You know, I've been so much uh, optimism Definitely. and positivity that, you know, Often in events you can feel you know, whether the event is successful or not, and, and this felt like a wonderfully successful event. And of course that, that, that is one of the aspects of this campaign, I mean, we're going to win, and we, to win we have to keep it positive. I mean, there's no campaign that a bunch of talking heads from Westminster, field politicians, who have nothing to offer but negativity. Yeah. To win this campaign we've got to counterpoint that and offer a totally positive message about the potential. I'm not saying everything's going to be fantastic yeah. in the Bernard Scott. To say we've got the potential to make the country better. I think with everyone we've been speaking to today on the Yes Carpet, it's been very kind of strong feeling that today was a, a journey towards something that you know is going to be really special, like a blank book that we can almost write ourselves. Is that something that kind of you agree with? Or yeah, I mean it's a journey. I mean we've got work to do. We've got people to convince. We've got a nation to mobilise. We've got a million folk to get to sign the Independence Scotland Declaration. That's a, you know, that's a lot of folk. Yeah. And if we do that, then we'll win the referendum. And that's my too. People sign that, they'll, they'll sign up for a self evident truth. And that self evident truth is the people best placed to run Scotland and the people to live in Scotland. That's so obvious. And if you sign that, then you'll vote yes. You'll vote and you'll vote yes. So that's the campaigning mechanism by which we mobilise the communities of Scotland. And that, making a start on that today was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it really was. And the communities, you were talking about the communities, very st strong part of today's um, opening launch. How do you think communities will get behind the independence campaign? Well, I think there'll be a whole variety of ways. I mean, you mustn't... Street doubt, parties you mustn't, and Kayleys. You mustn't <laughs> doubt human ingenuity. I, mean, yeah. I think between the fundraising and getting folk to sign up to the declaration, between getting your friends and neighbours, the ambassadors, which I think is so important, you know, that people... I mean, I thought today, Tommy Brennan, you see, to me, he's what you look for in a community ambassador. Mm -hmm. you know, he's somebody who's led a struggle, who's done yeah. great work in his own community and stuff. That's the sort of person. I mean, these are the, these are the bricks and mortar of Scotland, yeah. these folk. These are the very essence of the nation. And we can mobilise that type of folk across Scotland, these community ambassadors. Yeah. And we've got a, a winning formulation. And with the performances today as well on the stage, I mean, Everyone was almost kind of, we were speaking to Jiggy McLean earlier on, and he was almost close to tears when he was on stage because of the, just the momentum, the sheer buzz in the room. But that, that kind of almost helped today, didn't it? I was quite a June cow, don't it? Yeah. No, no, I once performed, I say this modestly, <laughs> duet with Jiggy McLean yeah. in the smallest distillery in Scotland in Perth. Right, okay. There were Doogie and I, and his wonderful modulated tones, my strangulated tones, there we were performing Caledonia, I was greeting as usual. And the thing that puzzled me was why the folk in the audience and that, the story of Persia, unlike today, weren't joining in the chorus. Yeah. Then somebody tell me there were two busloads of German juice. <laughs> <laughs> that is not so good. <laughs> and what do you think independence means for the people of Scotland? You know, what can they look forward to? when it and if Scotland does become independent. Well, it's about opportunity, it's about hope. You know, the scarcest commodity in politics right now, not just in Scotland, but across the continent, of Europe, is hope, hope in the future, belief that things can be made to be better. If we can encapsulate that, then we've got a very precious vision. It's a hope that we can build a prosperous country and a just society. What would um, independence mean to the, the people of the northeast of Scotland? Well, I, I've read something in North East of Scotland, all my political life, uh, uh, and they're the most fantastic people on God's earth. They, they've led the way, you know, at a time when nobody was voting SNP in the uh, you know, 1980s, when I was elected in 1987, the North East returned me as a, a member of parliament. And uh, very great in the poll tax campaign, you know, the, the, the sign up against the poll tax in the North East was greater than anywhere else, even in Glasgow. They were always behind you. It was, it was, you know, it was greater than anywhere else yeah. in the country. And uh, I think the North East will be one of the, the fulcrums of the independence campaign as well. Now, the, the people who understand two things, that the resources of a country are, are what absolutely matters. You know, the North East is a, a, an area of great resources of land, of fish, 
foil of gas. And rich in culture and diversity, isn't it, of course, as well? That's what I say, but they also understand the importance of identity and solidarity and fellow feeling. Well, I will say the North East League have led the way, let's do it a bit there. Finally, First Minister, what would an independent Scotland mean to the people of Scotland if and when Scotland could become independent? Well, it's an opportunity to build something better. It's hope for the future, the, the scarcest commodity in politics is now. Not just in Scotland, but right across the continent of Europe, people are looking for hope, hope that things can be made to be a bit better. And if we can encapsulate that in Scotland and broadcast that in the campaign, say, look, marrying the resources of Scotland to the talents and ingenuity of the people, we can create a more prosperous economy and a more just society. We can encapsulate that hope for the future then we've got the winning formula. Well, hopefully we do. And it's down to the people of Scotland now and the communities out there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so really get behind sign it. that declaration and <laughs> say yes. Say yes. Thank you very much, First Minister. Pleasure.